Hi there, I'm Justin Taylor. Today we're going to take a look at Pro.io, a tool I developed with Rasty Colab. Pro.io for After Effects and Premiere Pro is a one-stop solution for getting your media in and out of your application with ease. Watchbins allow you to link system directories to your project bins so that you can easily sync your bins and import any new assets, keeping your projects up to date and constantly organized. When it comes time to render, export presets allow you to queue multiple render jobs in After Effects or Media Encoder from multiple comps or sequences, conforming to your custom naming conventions and destinations. So let's start with Watchbins. First, press the new Watchbin button on the panel, and up pops the settings and folder search dialog. Select the folder that you want to sync with your project. A new Watchbin is added to the list, as well as our project panel. In addition to path, we can customize the name, subfolder, and image sequence settings. You can switch between paths relative to your project file or absolute paths. We have three ways to handle subfolders. Ignore only imports files in the main folder, ignoring any subfolders and files in them. Include will create additional watchbins for each subfolder, essentially recreating the folder structure. Flatten imports all files and any subfolders into the main folder. This is great for camera offloads that have deep folder structures. Lastly, the image sequence checkbox will identify sequentially named images and import them as image sequences, which are updated upon sync. Now once we press sync, Pro.io imports all matching files into our watchbins. Now here's where it gets exciting. If we add new files to our directory, all we need to do is hit sync and all new files are imported into our project, just like that. No more searching through folder structures and organizing files each time you have to import. Now all you have to do is hit sync and your project is up to date. You can also create watchbins by dragging and dropping them on the panel. Then you can customize as needed. If you only want to sync certain watchbins, just select the ones you want to update and hit sync. Also, you can freely move or rename your watchbins in your project and they will still sync. If you want to unlink watchbins but keep the files included, select the desired bins and hit unlink. If you'd like to change the allowed file types, edit the text file and include any compatible extensions. And here's a pro tip. Adding watchbins to your project templates saves you tons of steps. All you have to do is link up your template to your folder structure once, and when you start a new project, simply press sync, and all your assets are imported exactly as they should be. Now let's look at export presets. To make a new export preset, open the settings window, click the export presets tab, and hit new export preset. While Premiere sends all render jobs to Media Encoder, Pro.io and After Effects gives you the option to use Media Encoder or the After Effects render queue. Having set the name and render app, we'll choose our format. For rendering in After Effects, choose from the list of format and render templates available in the render queue. For rendering in Media Encoder, we'll select an EPR preset file. If you don't currently have any EPR files created, simply open Media Encoder, create an encoding preset, customize, and save. Back in Pro.io, we'll select that EPR preset. Now we'll choose the output destinations. You can switch between paths relative to your project file or absolute paths. The subfolder checkbox will save your export in a subfolder of the same name. This is recommended for image sequence exports. We can construct our naming format and see a preview above. The comp name in After Effects or sequence name in Premiere are entered by default, and you can customize with the available wildcards, including version, which will check the destination folder contents for existing files of the same name, and then version accordingly. Version by stem does the same thing, except it only looks at the preceding stem of the surrounding files before versioning. This is recommended if you're using date or time in your naming convention after the version number that would typically throw off the versioning. We can also use project name, project name stem, and a variety of time and date units and common time and date stamps. Now that we've created our first output module, we can add as many output modules as needed, which makes rendering final files a breeze. Now back at our panel, we can see that the first export button is linked to our new preset. Now all we have to do is select the comps or sequences we want to render and hit export. Pro.io has queued up our render job with the correct settings, naming, and destination, just like that. No more renaming and searching through folder structures each time we have to export. All we have to do is select our comps or sequences and hit the export button, and our render jobs are queued up and ready. You can organize your presets by right-clicking on the preset buttons on the panel, or rearranging them in the settings window. Also, you can easily distribute your export presets to your coworkers by selecting Reveal File, and copying the XML to the corresponding directory on their computer. In the end, Pro.io speeds up your workflow by automating those repetitive tasks that we do every day, keeping our projects organized and accurate. Thanks for watching this demo and learn more in the link below.